Before we talk about how to build arches, we need to talk about how to not build arches because I am afraid there are a few things that you may be doing right now in your training that are hindering the height of your arch. Many people think that when I talk about improving your arch, it means stretching your feet, but there is no foot stretching in my arch builder course. In fact, when you stretch your feet, you're lengthening out the muscle so that the shape is long instead of built up which is what we're doing here in this course. We are building muscle on top of our arch bone. It doesn't matter how flat your foot is underneath. We can always build muscle on top of it. And when your foot's in a point shoe and you have that heel, it, you cannot see that the foot once was flat when you have a muscle built out and a heel. Your, your eye already knows to look at that shape, connect it, and think, oh, it's a beautiful line, aesthetically pleasing, but more importantly, strong. So I'm not here to tell you how to stretch your foot to the point where you break the ankle bone and your foot flops on the floor. It's weakening your leg, and I don't believe in that. So we are focusing on building muscle on top of your arch in an aesthetic way that makes you look like you have a crazy high arch. So make sure that you understand that before we could dive any deeper. Now, Let's look at foot anatomy, which is very important to understand. You can see in this little diagram with the tendons on top of the muscle, there is that big muscle underneath, the extensor digitorium brevis. And the extensor digitorium brevis is responsible for connecting the four toes to the foot. So that means when we're working through a releve, we are pushing through the middle of our arch, the extensor digitorium brevis, and then we are pushing through the toes and the tendons which is important because we need that muscle to fire in those orders to have a beautiful arch. Otherwise, your heel will become jammed. It will take away the length of your Achilles, causing your foot to look and feel stiff. Another thing I'd like to point out is working through your demi point correctly. So have a look at my foot right now. And this is what we don't want to do, jam the ankle joint. Some people have a very flexible heel. Some people have a very strong heel. Some people have what they call a disappearing heel. and it doesn't matter which one you have, but make sure you are prioritizing keeping your heel long when you go to point your foot. If you were focusing on your arch when you point, shortening your Achilles a little bit, jamming your heel, which can not only lead to injury, but will not help you build your arch. A technique I'd like to bring to our attention so that you can start doing this today, you will see in my arch builder course is foot doming. So let's talk about foot doming. What is foot doming? Well, right now, let's try it together. So place your toes on the floor and you don't have to stand up. You could sit down or you could stand up, making sure that your foot is on the floor and in alignment with your ankle. Your ankle is in alignment with your knee. Make sure of that. Now you're going to press your toes into the floor and cup your arch up and hold it for 10 seconds. Relax and keep doing that until you start to bring more awareness into the muscle underneath your foot. This is a great exercise to do at home when you're just sitting around. Make sure that your heel is also in alignment because sometimes I've noticed uh, when I haven't been dancing a lot and I'm coming back into it, when you're doing this, you lose the ability to point through your heel. So we don't wanna be practicing sickled feet and it, when you start to foot dome in the beginning, you might notice that like the power of your tendons and your toes start to pull on the heel and kind of curve it towards the outside. So I want you to make sure awareness of your heel. Just think the heel has a nail in it and it's going straight down into the floor. Your pinky toe has a nail on it. It's going straight down into the floor and the big toe has a nail on it straight down into the floor. So we've created a triangle of energy and now the arch is being pulled up. You'll start to see when you do this a lot, you'll see your own muscle on top of your arch start to pop. And it's really exciting because I've seen people with some pretty flat feet build beautiful lines and they had never even known that they could do that. No one believed that they could do that. And that is why I'm here. I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to understand that you're limitless. We want the entire foot structure strong at the same time so that when you're pushing through your heel and pushing through the arch, pushing through demi point and then the toes, the foot is going straight and symmetrical. Every muscle is firing at the same time. This foot doming technique can and should be used in your ballet dancing. So try practicing it next time you're at the bar. Think of pushing your pinky toes into the floor, lifting that arch up as you feel the energy on the toes and the heel. 
Fact, the muscles on top of your arch can be built through simple exercise and commitment. Fact, stretching your feet will weaken your feet and not improve your dancing over time. Fact, foot doming will build muscle on top of your arch, giving you a gorgeous line no matter the height of your arch bone.